Hello again, this is David Pally here, and in this video we're going to go over how to separate the head to use for blend shapes. Because uh, one thing I've seen uh, on a number of files are people just duplicating the entire body over and using blend shapes based off the body, especially uh, if they're using it just for the face. And that's really unnecessary and can uh, depending on the sheer number of blend shapes, take up a lot of space or a lot of file space. Um, so you can see if you're using a lot of uh, geometry, your file size starts to tick up pretty dramatically. Um, so what I wanted to do is just uh, do a quick video on how to split up the geometry of the head um, so you can make, do, use blend shapes based off that. It's a really easy process. Um, what I'm going to do is just hide all the extra geometry here, so just sticking with the main body here. And what we're going to do is simply just separating faces. So what I'm going to do is select just a set of faces from here, try and stick to a line of faces here. Um, and it just depends if you want to, you know, include the muscles for the neck or anything like that. You can go down a little bit farther here. That's you know, it's a, totally up to you. But I'll, I'll stick with something like that for now. So under the modeling menu, I'm just going to go to mesh and or I think it's changed now. So I'm just going to under the edit mesh menu, I'm going to go to extract down here. So just separating this piece of geometry here. So now we've got a separate geometry for the head. So what I'm going to do is duplicate the head here. Um, so this is now kind of will be the base for all our blend shapes here. So once I've duplicated that, now I can reattach the head to the body. Um, and the order in which you select this is important. Uh, because it's going to take the first object you select and it's going to keep the vert numbers of the first object you select and the second object will lose these those vert numbers and they will change so to make sure we're keeping the number vertex numbers for the head we select the head geometry then the shift click the body and then under mesh we'll go to combine here and then what we have to do is combine or merge the verts again. Um, so we got to figure out which line of verts it was. All right, so there it is. So this might be a little tough, but um, Maya makes it pretty easy now, um, especially with the shift click here. So I'm going to click, double click the shift button to select this row of verts. Now I need to get the other set of verts from the other piece of geometry. So um, using the shift hold down the shift button here so you can get the plus or minus so when it's a plus then I know I'm selecting the other vert so I can select that one and then shift click and then double or shift double click so I can get the other line of verts and then under the edit mesh we can go to merge here uh, threshold you can kind of keep as the default these are right on top of each other so the threshold really isn't going to matter so just click merge there and that should be it. So now if I move the vert around, you see it's all together. Perfect. And depending on some models, you might have to soften the edge after you've merged the verts. Um, but this one you won't really need to. Um, yeah. You'll notice if you need to soften the edge or not once you go into three mode. But that looks pretty good there. So at this point, typically what I like to do is just double check the vertex numbers here. So I take a pretty prominent vert here, something like that, like the junction vert, and two, five, four, seven. Let's double check it on the other side. Two, five, four, seven. All right, so the verts for the heads line up. And at this point, I would just take this base shape and I would just duplicate based off that. So if I want to make this a smile shape or uh, for the eyebrows or anything like that, I can do that now. And every new blend shape I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate from this base shape here. And then when I want to apply them, I'll apply all these blend shapes to the base shape here, and then I'll connect that base shape to the original. 
I like doing that. I like having the bridge bl uh, blend shape here just so if someone accidentally like deletes history on the mesh, the blend shapes aren't gone forever, especially if you're going to get rid of the geometry once the blend shapes are all hooked up. But either way, this should help in dramatically reducing the file size for your scene and make it easier to kind of organize your blend shapes. So uh, the other, the last thing I would suggest is you can really only do this once. If, um, if you want to have blend shapes like correctives or anything else for the body, you're going to have to duplicate the whole body at this point. Um, because if you split it again, then the head will lose the vertex numbers and so these blend shapes will no longer work. So just kind of a little warning there. Um, this can really only be done once. So, um, hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you.